Hello students, welcome to Headlines of the Day. In this video, we are going to discuss major headlines of the Hindu. So, let's start our discussion with our first headline, which is Gorbacho, Macroeconomics and Gandhi. It is available on page number 8 and it is related to paper to international relations. In this article, we have to know about Mikhail Gorbacho, his reforms, lessons for India and Mahatma Gandhi's ethical economics. Recently, Mikhail Gorbacho passed away at the age of 91. He was the last leader of the former Soviet Union. अब इनके मेजर रिफॉर्म्स कौन से थे? He introduced economic political reform policies of perestroika, which means restructuring, and glasnost, which means openness. Glasnost allowed for enhanced freedom of speech and press, and perestroika sought to decentralize economic decision making to improve its efficiency. इनके अदर स्टेप्स कौन से थे? He stopped the arms race with the U.S. withdrew Soviet troops from Afghanistan and Eastern Europe. He helped in the unification of Germany. He ended the Cold War. In last, it has been observed that shape of an economy matters more than its size for human well-being. And India's economic governance must be guided by Mahatma Gandhi's calculus with the principle of human rights and community management to realize the promise of our commons and provide Purnaswaraj to all citizens. Our next important headline is the difficult path to India-Pakistan peace. It is available on page number 8 and it is also related to paper to international relations. In this article, we have to know about the present status of India-Pakistan relationship, existing issues between both the countries and future prospects. So, India-Pakistan relations ko humne bohut hi behtareen tarikas apni website pe cover kiya hua hai aur uska link milega description mein. Apart from it, aap isko bhi go through kar sakte hain. Yahan bhi explain kiya gaya hai, right? Our next important headline is Public health need not be led by doctors alone. It is available on page number 9 and it is related to paper 2 health section. In this article, we have to know about the associated challenges with the public health system in India. What is the quality of public health training? Steps to be taken in this context, conclusion and way forward. So, if we overview the overview, it is critical that health professionals, the government and the public recognize public health as a specific set of competencies and give it the importance that it deserves. Health Ministry's recent proposal for the creation of cadres for public health professionals and health management at the state, district and block level is a welcome step. However, it is not sufficient. There is also a need to look at the quality of public health training being provided. Only this will attract the best and brightest people into this discipline, which is very important for the nation's health. Our next important headline is funding public education. It is available on page number 9 and related to paper 2 education. In this article, we have to know about the present status of higher education in India, issues linked to it, national education policies, vision and what lies ahead. It is stated that public education system is the basis of vibrant democratic society. National education policy 2020 envisaged that it would promote increased access, equity and inclusion through a range of measures, including greater opportunities for outstanding public education. It also provided an assurance that the autonomy of public institutions would be backed by adequate public funding. It endorsed a substantial increase in public investment by central and state governments to reach 6% of the GDP at the earliest. Why is it important? This level of public spending is extremely critical for achieving the high quality and equitable public education system that is truly needed for India's future economic, social, cultural, intellectual progress and growth. Our next important headline is seat belts, head restraints and safety regulations. It is available on page number 10 and it is related to paper to quality and governance. In this article, Hamarli important hai janna is India implementing its mandatory seat belt policy. So, aap isko go through kar sakte hai. Our next important headline is the ban on conversion therapy for the LGBTQIA plus community. It is available on page number 10 and related to paper 1, social issues. In this article, we have to know what is conversion therapy, what are the risks associated with it. Recently, National Medical Commission, which is the apex regulatory body of medical professionals in India, has written to all state medical councils banning conversion therapy and calling it a professional misconduct. What is conversion therapy? It is an intervention aimed at changing the sexual orientation or gender identity of an individual with the use of either psychiatric treatment, drugs, 
and even violence with the aim to make the individual a heterosexual what is the risk associated with it it poses the risk of causing mental health conditions like anxiety stress and drug use which sometimes even lead to suicide our next important headline is is noise the only way to get noticed it is available on page number 11 and related to paper to polity and governance in this article we have to know why must political parties give local politician a bigger stake in larger issues of the day it has been observed that in india unless one hails from a well established political dynasty or has a great amount of financial resource he or she would find it extremely difficult to move up the political ladder over the past few years india has witnessed too many discomforting actions and events on behalf of its political class therefore it is imperative that political parties take steps to alter the incentive structure of the political system and give local politician a larger stake in larger issues of the day our next and last important headline is preventive detentions rose in 2021 it is available on page number 14 or year related paper to polity and governance in this article we have to know what are the findings of latest crime statistics released by national crime records bureau in the context of preventive detention and we have to know about the preventive detention laws in india so recently according to uh, national crime records bureau data preventive detentions in 2021 saw a rise of over 23.7% as compared to the year before okay अगर आपको ये पॉइंट समझना है प्रिवेंटिव डिटेंशन लॉज इन इंडिया ये हमने अपनी वेबसाइट पे बहुत ही बढ़िया से कवर किया है और उसका लिंक अवेलेबल है डिस्क्रिप्शन में ठीक है तो दोस्तों आज के लिए इतना ही जाते जाते यही कहेंगे कि वट एवर यू आर बी अ गुड वन थैंक्स फॉर लिसनिंग